Here you can see the finished project. For my experiment, I used the following items. A Peltier cooler with a heatsink, a step down transformer, a fan from a computer case, an ESP8266 microcontroller, two BME 280 temperature and humidity sensors. a motor controller, a DS18B20 temperature sensor. Here's all the items assembled on the bench for an initial test. This is the step down transformer connected to the solar panel. This is all at 12 volts. Then we have the motor controller connected to the fan from the computer. This is the microprocessor. Uh, the two sensors, the BME 280 sensors. The DS18B20 sensor. And then we have the Peltier cooler attached to the heatsink. I'm going to connect the DS18B20 temperature sensor to the Peltier cooler so we can run an initial test. So we switch everything on. Uh, you can see the fan spinning up here and on the graph you can see the temperature reading from the Peltier heat sink is going down and the fan speed is starting to rise. So I've just used a, a food storage box for this project. Here you can see the, the tunnel for the air. And here's the, the fan. And then this is the whole thing assembled, but without the Peltier cooler. See the microprocessor on the side. That's the fan. It needs to be attached to the motor controller. And the motor controller needs wiring into the microprocessor. And you can see the two BME 280 sensors. This is the temperature sensor for the Peltier cooler. So uh, when this is completed, the air will go across the two sensors and out through the fan. This is the inside of the project. Uh, now the Peltier cooler heatsink has been installed. I need to uh, stick down this box. and attach the temperature sensor. So we're nearly ready to switch on the device. The temperature sensor is in place. I use sellotape to attach the plastics together. It doesn't look great, but it makes it easier to assemble and disassemble. So from the other side, you can see the whole unit assembled. I just need to attach the power. One advantage of this, the motor control that I'm using is that it has an output of five volts if you input 12 volts. So the 5 volts can be used to power the microprocessor.
One final check to make sure that we're not going to fry the microprocessor. We disconnect the 5 volt rail. Check the 12 volts is coming into the motor controller and the 5 volts is leaving. Now we've checked it, we can reconnect the 5 volts. So this is the device running. So on the graphs you can see that the temperature on the Peltier cooler is dropping and the fan speed is increasing. The first BME sensor is measuring the ambient temperature and humidity. The second sensor is measuring the temperature and humidity of the air after it has passed through the heat sink. The second sensor is shown by the red line on the second and third graphs. You can see the temperature is dropping but the humidity is rising. I was a little disappointed with the result. I imagined that the temperature drop would be more and the humidity would also drop. You can see underneath the device there is condensation on the heat sink connected to the Peltier cooler. I wondered if the poor performance was related to a lack of current going into the Peltier cooler. You can see here it was about 3.4 amps. I thought I'd also try disconnecting the fan so there's no airflow over the heatsink. And you can see the ice is forming on the cooler. On the graph, you can see that the temperature of the Peltier cooler heatsink is dropping. The fan is disconnected, so the speed of the fan shown on the graph is the speed that the microcontroller is requesting, not the actual speed of the fan. So now I reconnect the fan. And you can see the ice disappears quickly from the Peltier cooler and the temperature starts to rise in the graphs.